My name is Ching Mai, and I'm from Longling District, and my village would be Hokpang Village. So uh, I've uh, finished my post graduation from Timapur, uh, St. Joseph University. So um, actually, cooking, it seems very simple. And uh, it seems very simple for most of, uh, for many of us, but uh, for me, I take cooking as my uh, serious passion. Uh, my hobby and something that uh, that is an art to me. So um, through this Nagashev, I've not only learned that cooking is an art, but I've also learned to inspire uh, either it be friends, families, or the people that surrounds me. I want to, I want to inspire them through cooking, also to help them understand that not, uh, everyone has a special talent and a special gift. Uh, within them, so I I want to inspire them to utilize it, that they can also also shine and take it to a bigger platform and make opportunities out of them. So I thank you for this time. Thank you. My name is uh, Nitu Video and I'm from Kohima. And then I did my engineering and then I was working. After that, after working for four and five four five years. I def uh, quit that and then I seriously pursue my uh, passion for cooking, especially Naga food. So I'm based in Bangalore at the moment and then from there I cook uh, all the Naga pickles and all. So I, I have an Instagram page. Uh, in, two, like, in the year 2019 I have opened that page and then it goes by the name The Rumbling Spoon. And then it has like around 17,000 followers. So through this page, and I even do food blogging. So from that, I am able to introduce our Naga food to more more audience. And then like I have already uh, couriered my uh, pars, uh, my pickles to all over India and also to fourteen other countries, which I am really very proud that uh, through this platform like the Instagram, I have able to uh, introduce our food to many people. And at the same time, this Naga chef means a lot to me because. Uh, as I was in Bangalore, at the last moment I uh, applied for this Naga Chef through online and then uh, through all the anchors and uh, Asang, especially she has helped me out to fill up the form and then I've come fly all came just to uh, Nagaland to apply for this and I'm really excited and I've learned so much and even in the, uh, if you call, uh, like I'm all totally into only cooking so through this Naga Chef I've learned about making deserts, like using Naga ingredients and then present it and uh, to my co uh, fellow contestants, through them I've learned a lot and to all the judges for all the review and all it was such a wonderful time and I'm gonna cherish this throughout my life and even today we might be the winner I will again definitely try to come back and again I hope I win but <laughs> let's see if, if I don't win as well but I've learned so much and thank you so much everyone for coming and it was a great time, thank you Ladies and gentlemen, uh, my name is Mithinul Kehyo and I'm from Kohima itself. Uh, I've graduated from Kalani Academy of India in Hyderabad. So I've um, uh, seen ever since I was eight years old. Um, well, my grandmother is my inspiration to all all this the culinary industry, honestly. So um, ever since uh, I mean I grew up with her. So every time she cooks, I'll be by her side, looking at how she does, uh, how she cooks, how she treats food, you know. And every time. Uh, Someone eats her food, that smile that brings uh, upon their faces that really pushed me to pursue my career in the culinary industry. So um, I've also, I mean, where, wherever I go, I mean, um, I'll always be a Naga at heart. So this time I joined the Naga Chef competition because um, I knew I didn't know a lot of things about Naga food and Naga ingredients. But during this uh, competition, I've learned so many things about the Naga food and the ingredients and also from my colleagues, I've learned so many things that uh, I wouldn't learn anywhere else. And uh, I'd like to give an example, uh, the ingredient Roselle, that's, I, I really can't live without the ingredient done. <laughs> and it's all thanks to Naga Chef for that, yeah. And as I uh, pursue my career in this industry, I hope that uh, I'll be able to bring justice to our Naga food, especially. Um, present this evening. My name is Vibunyo Kana, and I'm 23 years old from Garbima. 
Um, I participate. Uh, it was such a privilege for me to participate in this Naga Chef season eight. Uh, I love cooking because cooking gives me immense happiness. Um, I think I would say that uh, this journey was uh, such a blessing for me and my family because uh, I've learned many new things, discover a lot about cooking in Nagastan. Thank you. It's an honor to have all of you tonight in the, for the grand finale of the Naga Chef Season 8 at Matsaki. As we say, Naga indigenous food is a real story of the Naga people, our rich and unique cultural heritage, our history and our gastronomic innovations over the passage of time, from our special relationship with our mountains, forests and nature. In the Naga indigenous food is not just any other food. Every morsel embodies the true way of Naga life passed on from generation to generation. We have heard the objective of Naga Chef through our host, Amon. Naga Chef started in the year 2013 with the objective to promote Naga food and entrepreneurial Naga cooks who we look up and to promote Naga food and take it to the next level. With the season eight, we look back, we see over a hundred contestants who have already participated in the Naga Chef competition. With tremendous talents and skills, they have all come to the Naga Chef kitchen and competed for the covert title of the, to be the winner of the Naga Chef. With the declaration of this season, eight winner, we will have eight winners of Naga Chef who are all ambassadors of Naga food and we look up to them to take Naga food to the next level. But not only the winners, but we have seen the top contestants of uh, Naga Chef who have ventured into different food businesses and have made a mark for themselves and in the food industry too. And for the record, I would like to mention we have the Chief Minister of Nagaland as the Chief Patron of Naga Chef. Naga Chef started with the vision of our Chief Minister, who was very keen to promote and upscale the Naga food to the next level. Therefore, when we look back from time, we started the Naga Chef competition with the support of the government of Nagaland and especially the Department of Tourism. We feel happy and proud to have met people with and who have come to the Naga Chef competition with tremendous skills and talents. 
and are now ambassadors of our Naga food, doing well in different areas, in different cities. As our journey continues, and we go on learning about Naga food and promoting Naga food, we feel we will be and we are achieving what we have started for, the objective we have started this uh, competition for, and having the support of all of you present here this evening, and well-wishers and patrons, we feel we are getting closer to achieving our dreams, and which have been the dreams which have been sold by the Chief Minister of Nagaland, Sri Nifurio, to take Naga Chef to the next level. With this, I thank all of you once again, and since uh, we have also mentioned the competition was going on behind the scene, and they were cooking since 11 this morning, the competition timing started at 11 this morning, and they were cooking till 4 p.m. And so whatever food they're laying for us right now is the hard work and the toll they've made the whole day today, and that's why can we all give them a round of applause for what they did. First of all, I want to congratulate Synergy Group for doing a fantastic job all these eight years, right? They need a round of applause. They have been working very hard to carry off an event like this. takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of sacrifice and contribution behind the scenes. I want our participants to know that for an event like this to happen, there are dozens and dozens of people working behind the scenes, working day and night. So you, you got to appreciate what happens behind the scenes so that people like you and people like us can come and talk in front of cameras. So it's these guys who work behind the scenes who make it work. So we want to say thank you to them. And as Alizma had said earlier, eight years ago it was Chief Minister Nipu Ryo who decided that we need to upscale Naga food. We need to take Naga food beyond our borders. We need to make Naga food an ambassador of Nagaland and the Naga people. And the idea of Naga Chef was born. The event was conceptualized. And we've come a long way eight years down the line. In the past eight years, we've produced fantastic winners, great dishes. And some of those who've participated have gone on to become successful entrepreneurs, opening their own restaurants, running their own food business, and today, in this age of social media, as one of them had said, they have used the platforms of social media and taken Naga food to the world. I want to congratulate all the participants and I want to congratulate the four finalists also. But when we look back at the past few days, we are not supposed to be having the finale of Naga Chef here at Machaki. This was supposed to be happening at the epicenter of the Hornbill Festival. Naga Chef has been one of the highlights of the Hornbill Festival for the past eight years. It has brought Naga food to the forefront of the Festival of Festivals. But as we all know, this year was a different ball game. The tragedy of Otin brought everything to a standstill. Even as I speak and we celebrate the talents of these young Nagas, Naga hearts are bleeding, our tears are yet to dry. In far away Oting on the Indo Naga border, in this Christmas season, as we have these lights shining brighter, many homes are not as bright as they should be. This Christmas is not going to be like past Christmases for them. But today, I join all of us to extend the solidarity, the prayers, and the support of everybody present here and the young people of Nagaland to those families in Otin that we pray for you, we are with you, and we share your grief and your sadness. It's not about a cognac tragedy, I think. It's a Naga tragedy. And I want to tell young people across the state, taking the opportunity of my friends from the press and media are present here. When you get hurt, when you fall down, and when people don't want you to succeed, stopping is not an answer. We can't stop. 
Because if we stop, we're succumbing to defeat. I want to tell young people and other citizens across the state that by stopping, we are not going to overcome this challenge. That incident that happened was not a first, and I'm afraid there could be many more. The only way we can overcome such challenges is to give our best, to fight back with our best, to strive towards excellence and success. The best answer is success and excellence, to show that Naga people are good enough, that Naga people can reach the highest standards across all sectors. And to make that happen, to realize that aspiration, Naga leaders across the board must also give their best. Naga leaders, be it in government, be it in civil society, all sectors must ensure that meritocracy triumphs. When we support meritocracy, success and excellence will happen automatically. But success and excellence will not come to Naga society by fluke, by luck, or by chance. We've got to put in the investments, and that investments have to start by supporting meritocracy, transparency, and good governance. Today, even as we look back at the past few days, let us rededicate ourselves that we will give our best. Students in campuses, bureaucrats in corridors of power, politicians hitting, sitting in those high kursis, let us all give our best. Let us ensure meritocracy for Naga society. Let us allow Naga talent, Naga caliber, Naga capabilities to shine across the globe. Let us let Nagaland be known for the right things, for the right reasons, for these wonderful chefs, for our wonderful dishes, for sportspersons, artists, musicians. They should be the new ambassadors of Nagaland. They should tell new stories to the world that Nagas are here, we have our own footing in this global environment of the global village, and we are ready to ex excel, succeed, bring pride and glory to the Naga people, and contribute towards the nation building process. Thank you very much. Cook Nalim, Jane. I was going to speak. All four of them are winners tonight. They deserve a round of applause. And uh, I look forward to all four of you being fantastic, wonderful ambassadors of the Naga people in the years to come. And uh, I'm today very happy to announce the winner, 2021 Naga Chef Season 8 winner is, this is a difficult one to pronounce. Then guess <laughs> Mutu Nulu. The Naga Chef Season 8 started with uh, 10 contestants and then uh, we, we did elimination round, we had various rounds, we had uh, dessert round, we had uh, my Naga Thali, so all in all total we had 8, uh, eight uh, rounds and today was the finale so we judge according to the overall, overall markings of the competition and uh, the winner who won the Naga Chef Season 8 She's been consistent with her presentation, with her uh, making the dish and all. So that's what we look as a judge.
So uh, I've been judging the Naga Chef uh, from season one, which started in 2013, and it's uh, almost uh, eight years that I've been judging the competition. And it is through the collaboration of uh, the event that was organized by Synergy Group. So they invited me since 2013. And I've been judging the competition and the impact that Synergy Group has given as the competition has progressed is that there is a lot of entrepreneurs who has been running their own establishments. They have become their own entrepreneurs. And also uh, the first season winner, she is working in the Taj Bengal, Akitoli, and she's getting good salary. So all in all, I think like the competition, it gives a way for the contestants to showcase their talent and also to showcase the Naga food that uh, the contestants have to offer. Initially, when I started, uh, nobody knew about hospitality management, this and that. I started uh, in the year 2005, but now as uh, the year has gone and 2021, it has been. So uh, there's a lot of change that has come. People are getting more acquainted with uh, private sector jobs. So people are getting more accepted to the work that we are doing and also uh, there's a lot of things that can be done with Naga food and uh, there's so, so much of story when it comes to Naga food so people should explore those ideas and get their hands on and I, I was reading an article by Ma'am Ravi Chase which says uh, become the Naga food soldier so uh, every individual in one way or the other they should become uh, the Naga food soldier you know my name is Matunda Lekeho. Uh, I am from Koyama district and I have a huge passion for food. And I started ever since my grandmother was uh, still with me uh, around the age of eight. And ever since then, I really started to fall in love with cooking and food itself. So, um, so that's why that's the one of the main reasons why I chose culinary industry as my career. And since, ever since joining this uh, competition, as so many wonders have happened. You know, I've learned so many things about new ingredients, our local cuisines, what we call them in Nagamis, and it's also the local dialect. And I still have so much to learn. As, uh, and as I go further with uh, whatever comes my way, I hope that uh, I'll be able to portray Naga cuisine and uh, being a Naga, Naga chef now, I mean, like, uh, I hope that I'll be able to bring justice to our cuisines. And being an ambassador, I, I should be, I should be, I hope to be responsible enough to, like, always put Naga cuisine beforehand, before anything, uh, any other cuisines. And um, I would really like to thank the organizers for organizing such a wonderful event. And and even as we go further with uh, with all the other events that comes, I hope that um, it will even it will be better every step of the way. And I also like to thank all my uh, fellow colleagues who were there, especially the finalists, since we've become really close now. So I hope that they will pursue their dreams in the in the industry specifically. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, this yes, this is definitely my first time. And I honestly, I'm really still surprised that I joined and I won. This is like a dream and it's like a dream come true, honestly. <laughs> and uh, looking at Naga cuisine right now and the things that I've learned so far, uh, there are so many ingredients that, that are unknown to the world and only found here in Nagaland. So what I, um, I think we're, for Naga cuisine worldwide, we have a huge scope for Naga cuisine, yes. And I hope that we'll be able to introduce that to the entire world. Yeah, thank you. Uh, currently, I have plans to go for further studies. So uh, I hope that uh, I'll be able to portray Naga food there. Wherever I go, I will always take my roots with me. So uh, I hope that I'll be able to promote Naga food in such a way that pe more people learn to, about it and they start to love it yeah